This old guy DIY has to do with prepping a little food plot for some Imperial Whitetail winter greens. So this hot chick I know allows me to hunt at her place and I have this little spot that's up on a hill between two little corn strips and I just measured it with my range finder and it came out to be 60 yards by 30 yards and since an acre has 43,560 square feet in it I did the math and find, found out that I have about four tenths of an acre here. So for four tenths of an acre if I want to put on two tons per acre I need just short of one ton of material. So I went to my local tractor supply and I got these 50 pound bags of lime for four dollars each and I compared that to the local family farm and home which I generally prefer but the family farm and home was a buck fifty per bag more so I saved sixty bucks by going to tractor supply today but I'm going to take these bags I'm going to back the vehicle and the trailer down to that end first it's about 80 degrees today on August 22nd so I waited until the shade was over this area I'm going to use the elephant trunk technique where I take a utility knife and I'll just slit across the bottom here and then I'll walk just carrying this bag in front of me I'm going to work my way from the bottom of this little food plot the east side to the top because it's better soil down there and up here everything is really rocky so if I run short at least I'll get the lime on this bottom area so here we go when I'm applying this lime I use what I described the elephant trunk technique just hold that bag of lime right in front of me as if I had an elephant trunk attached to my belt and as I'm walking you just swing left to right and after doing the math with 33 bags I knew I could cover a piece that's six feet wide and 80 feet long to use all 33 bags so I walked down to the end of the field and I came back up here towards the vehicle to the 80 foot mark and then I stopped there so I want to start dumping close to the vehicle so I have less carrying but anyway I'll go through this whole little food plot now and cover it with lime like this and this stuff was knee-high weeds and grass kind of like that area down there a week ago I came through and hit it with the bush hog now I'm putting the lime on it today and then my plan is to hit it with a tiller tomorrow I'll cull the packet and seed it on the following day and that'll be it. So here we go, lime for everyone. Now the first 11 bags are out and this is what it looks like. I'm standing in the trailer on top of the remaining lime. So this breaking it into thirds worked out pretty well. I had established the 80 feet I wanted to cover. I knew I wanted to put 11 bags on it. Um, I just put it on a little bit thin so I ended up using only 10 bags in the beginning. Then I took that 11th bag and just walked through and tried to hit some of the light spots. But that's one third done. Now I'll move the truck and the trailer forward another 80 feet, do the second third. And when you're doing this job, no matter what the weather is, I suggest you wear long pants and work shoes. You know, if I were wearing shorts, all this crap would be stuck to me. But this is what you end up with after dumping that barn lime out here in August in Michigan. Another comment on the application technique, this stuff is really dusty. So when you're putting it on, make note of the wind. And in my case, I kept the wind at my back. It's normally out of the west. That's where it was this evening. See, I have that much lime that I get to shake off. Got a little bit left over in the back of the trailer. The nice thing about this is it's good for the lawn as well as it is for the fields. So I can go up towards her house, borrow her little leaf blower, and I'll blow this stuff off into the lawn, and everybody should be happy. Now the second third is done, so I've used 22 of my 33 bags. You can see by the shape of the lime laid down, how I use that elephant trunk technique. And no, this is not a precision operation. And yes, it would have been easier to use pelletized lime, but it's much more expensive. And as I understand it, based on what I've read, the pelletized lime is fast acting stuff that helps you for a year. 
and this barn lime gets into the soil and should help keep the pH up for three or four years. So only one third to go, we're making progress. It's been about an hour, but I have 1,650 pounds of lime out on this four tenth of an acre little food plot area. And with filming, it took me about an hour, so that's not bad. And I suspect I won't have to do this job for another two or three years. As long as I keep helping her around the farm, I suspect I'll still have permission to hunt on this thing for a few years. But breaking it into thirds, and knowing how many bags I wanted to put on each third worked out nicely. So although it's not scientific, I think I get enough lime spread around here that when I till it, and then the soil just does its thing naturally, leaching, I uh, shouldn't have big spots of areas that do not have any lime. And when I had the pH tested here two years ago, it was 5.6. So I've read about the deer being able to smell the sweet crops as opposed to sour crops with low pH. So I thought I'd spend the 160 bucks on this. I put 75 into seeds, so that gives me 235. I found a couple bags of fertilizer I had left over from five years ago. So I'll have about 260 and then fuel, counting my time at zero. This thing will be about a $275 job considering the equipment cost to be a sunk cost. So we'll see if the critters like it. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do, and have a great day.